gonna take the shockwave out for the first time. Give it a test, see if we call anything in with it. The shockwave is different. It utilizes technology unlike any other game call. You guys just witnessed the first call-in fox ever with a new shockwave caller. That thing worked awesome. The growth and evolution of predator hunting has developed a predator hunter that demands more advanced features. Pulls that he can use at his disposal to bring in call shy predators. Information is also very important to this advanced predator hunter so he can learn from past successful stands to make his future stands even more successful. The Shockwave is the first unit ever to truly deliver to the hardcore Predator Hunter. And with its simplicity to use, it's also a great unit for the not-so-advanced Predator Hunter who wants to buy a unit that he can grow into. Some people that I have talked to about the Shockwave, I think are under the assumption that this is a big unit, when in fact, this is not a big unit. When you look at the Shockwave, you can see just how big it is compared to the other units. I mean, it is not that much bigger at all than the Fury. I mean, it's a lot really easy to carry, too. You don't even know that you have it. And when you compare it to the Prairie Blaster, you can see just how much smaller it is than even the Prairie Blaster. I mean, that Prairie Blaster just dwarfs it. Biggest change, obviously, when you look at the style of this unit is the ability to move these speakers in and out. And, and that's important when going to a lot of stands because if you're hunting an area directly in front of you and you want to focus all of the sound only in that direction, being able to take both of these speakers and point them in that direction uh, is very important for some people. But also there, there may be times to where you're hunting a, a broader area and you want to get coverage at, at a much greater area. So you want sound going from each side of the speakers. So with this one, you're able to pinpoint exactly which way you want those speakers facing. Point them straight ahead, put them off to the side, whatever you want to do. And then when you're done for transport, just close them back up and latch them. Shockwave. One of the, the, the demands that people have had with these game calls is to have more volume. And we really feel that the way that we're gonna put more volume out there is by adding the additional horn speaker instead of making one a horn and one a cone. Uh, but to give it that better sound quality that people are used to with Fox Pro products, we've added this, the tweeters to give it that better high frequency content. On the main unit itself, the Shockwave now features an LCD screen that actually displays the name of the sound. So for those that want to use it in the manual mode without the remote control, it is a much more user-friendly uh, unit to use. We've redesigned the Shockwave remote from the ground up, and it's there where you'll be able to access all of the technological advancements. At first glance, when you pick up the remote, you're going to immediately notice the new full-color LCD screen. You'll also quickly notice that on the keys themselves, they are now illuminated with LEDs. They still glow in the dark, but now for nighttime use, it makes it much easier to see those keys with an LED illuminated behind them. And let's say that I, I don't really like my keypad being that bright. If I go up and I just select that keypad, I can tone it down. You'll see that the intensity of the LEDs are going down, or I can shut it completely off. And I can bring it all the way up to 100%. With this remote control, I can also go back in and change the themes that I currently have planned. Just by going back into the menu, I'll go into display power, and I'll go into the theme. Right now, it's on the Fox Pro theme. If I hit the select button and scroll, that's the night theme. If you notice, it gets really dim. Right now, we're in a little bit of light, so it's easier to read. You also notice that the keys will get really dim on the night theme. You can actually go in, customize those themes to your preferred setting, and it'll retain those settings for you. Or, I also have a day theme. For those that want to hunt in the middle of the day, bright sunlight, and they want the best contrast, they can use this day theme as well. As with any product that we come out with, we take customer feedback and, and find ways to make it easier to operate, easier to navigate, easier to do things. That's one of the reasons when you start scrolling through this remote, you're going to see that we have really changed things up. You know, no longer do you have this long sound list where you have to try to access a, a lot of sounds. We took feedback from our customers and we've come up with these categories of sounds uh, that these sounds live in. So if they know that they want to play a rabbit distress, they can quickly navigate to a rabbit distress. And I know a lot of times um, I, I may be playing a gray fox distress and I know I want to play a rabbit distress. I just hit back quick and I go into the rabbit categories and right there all of my rabbit sounds are in that category. And by going down and selecting the next sound I play, hit select button, 
it's automatically now going to start playing that baby cottontail. When a user turns this remote control on for the first time, one thing he'll notice very quickly is that it now has barometric pressure on the remote control. It has temperature on the remote control. It has a moon phase indicator on the remote control. While on a stand, you now have all of that information right at your fingertips. Now you can see in the moon phase indicator that it's almost a full moon. Uh, the barometric pressure reading right now is 29.64 inches and there's no trending, so it's been pretty consistent. The current temperature right now is 74 degrees. My Fox Motion is off. My Fox Bang is off. This is my current battery indicator. This is the timer on the remote control that lets me know um, how long I've been on stand. I can also change that to a time of day. Um, this is my current volume uh, indicator that I'm uh, playing right now. The Fox Motion is a feature that I really like. The TX500 had a feature that was called Fox Fade, which allowed you to take the sound to go from one speaker to the next, but it was all done manually, so every time you wanted to change it, you had to turn the scroll knob and push a button. What Fox Motion does, and now does that automatically for you. It gives you five settings that you can choose how fast you want that sound to go back and forth between the two speakers, and it really gives the illusion of moving prey. If you would picture a rabbit distress out in the field, very rarely is that rabbit going to be focused in one direction. He's going to be going back and forth with his head going in many different directions. And that's one of the things that Fox Motion really uh, um, um, emulates. It really depicts that rabbit that's shaking its head in many different motions. And by simply hitting this button, it's now going to take that sound and go back and forth between the two speakers to really give the sound of moving prey. I don't know if you can hear that now, but I'll, I'll be quiet for a while so you can kind of listen to it going back and forth between the speakers. The Fox Fusion feature is actually one of the hardest ones that we have done. This Fox Fusion allows you to play two sounds at once. And I know there's going to be people who say, you know what, there's other calls that have done that. That's true. However, if you're only working with one file type, that's very easy to do. If all we had to worry about was just our own proprietary file format, then it's very easy to play two sounds at once. The challenge comes when you want to be able to play multiple file formats. So if I'm playing a Fox Pro Rabbit Distress sound, and I want to mix that with the new MP3 Rabbit sound that I have put in, I can now do that with this particular unit. There's Coyote Pup Distress number three. If I want to add a second sound to it, all I do is hit the Fox Fusion button here on the side. And now I go and I select the sound. Say you want to add the lightning jack. You can now hear that the lightning jack is playing and will play non-stop in the background. Unlike other units that may play that sound one time, that sound will sit there and play non-stop in the background. And I've got individual volume controls of each sound. Fox Data is something unlike any other game call out there has had before. At your fingertips, you now have the ability to record all of your successful stands. And what I mean by that, if I'm out there and I have a successful call-in, all I need to do is hit that Fox Data button and everything that's going on right then and there is recorded into the transmitter. Things like time of day, how long I was on the stand for, what sound I'm currently playing, what was the barometric pressure, what was the moon phase, was the barometer dropping or was it rising? All of those things are then recorded into that remote control. Then, at the end of the year, I download all of that information into my computer, I go back, and now I can see that, you know, this, this lightning jack was my favorite sound, my most popular sound. Um, the barometric pressure was 29.4 uh, when I had my most successful stand. Also, maybe my most successful time on a stand was six minutes. That was the most successful time that I had on a stand. There's just so much information that you can garnish from Fox Data to really make hunting in the future a lot more successful for you. Fox Pitch is a feature that allows you to manipulate the pitch of any sound that you're playing. 
So, for example, if I'm playing a, a rabbit in distress, and you know, a lot of people think these these animals hear these sounds, and they get educated to hear the same sound. Now I could go into a stand and and really change the pitch of that sound. I can take a rabbit distress, I can make it go to a really high pitch, and then make it go down to a really low pitch. And that does a couple things by going up to the higher pitch. You're giving the impression that that animal is more in distress, and then by going down to the lower pitch, you can give the impression that it's closer to death. That's a sound that most of you know. But if I want to go in and change that sound up, I'm just going to go into the back menu button, go into fox pitch. I'm going to turn that on, and I'm going to increase the pitch. You can now hear the higher pitch, or I can lower the pitch. The shockwave is already proven, even before it's released, to be a very, very popular unit. This unit is in high demand, and I think the market is going to respond to it very well based on all of the features. You know, one one thing that I want to mention is that you look at all of these features in a call, and there's those people out there that are really afraid of features. This call is very, very simple to use. You pick it up, you turn it on, you select your sound, you turn the volume up. Very simple. But for those who demand more advanced features. This has it as well, and it's going to please everybody out there that wants the ultimate game call. As with all of our digital game calls, the Shockwave is proudly made in the USA and is backed with the best customer service in the industry.